Three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mission Control for another feature focus video. In this video, we're going to talk about USB Expert. USB Expert is a testing and configuration utility for panels, the circuit boards, in a console or USB interface made by AvaLites. This allows you to test faders and buttons on the console as well as update firmware for the panels. Testing can be handy when prepping a console for a tour or a rental. You should not muck about with firmware unless prompted by the Titan Health Check or by AvaLite support personnel. USB Expert can be found here on Consoles. Click Tools, then Control Panels, then USB Expert Console. USB Expert can be found here on the PC suite. Click the Windows Start button, scroll to the AvaLites folder, and then USB Expert Console. The ACW service must be running to use USB Expert. The ACW service is a low-level communication between the panels and Titan. This automatically starts with Titan, but may need to be manually launched for problem solving or for testing. Uh, when in USB Expert, click on Tools, then ACW Service and Start will manually start the service. Once you have the service running, you should see any connected panels in the connected panels frame. Each console or USB interface has different panels. The Titan 1 or T1 will show one panel. The T2 will show two. Titan Mobile will also show two. Quartz will show three. The Pro Expert Pro or one upgrade to the Pro Standard will show 10 panels, 11 if you're using the Touch Wing. A Tiger Touch Pro or one that has been upgraded will show six panels, five if a non Pro were not upgraded. Tiger Touch 2 will show six panels. Uh, the Arena will show 11 panels. And the Sapphire Touch will show 15 panels. If you have missing panels, open the console and check all cabling. Unplug and replug the cables on both ends. If they're still missing, contact support for more help. If any panels show boot mode next to them, you want to click on that panel, then the service tab, then exit boot. If the panel does not come out of boot mode, contact Avalite support for instructions. All panels should have a green icon next to them that looks like this, a little green uh, dot with a USB symbol on it. If the panel requires a firmware update, it will show this, a piece of paper with a down arrow and a clock. When selecting a panel, you have some or all of the following tabs. Info shows information about the panel. You should never need to make any changes or adjustments here. Services is where you update the panel's firmware and enter or exit the boot mode. Test bench, this is used by the factory when testing the console before shipment. Faders, you can check the operation of your faders here. LEDs, the LEDs can be checked here. Contact support if you have an LED issue. Wheels, you can check the operation of the wheels. DMX, here's where you can test the DMX output and set the port to be either RX or TX. MIDI, here you can see MIDI coming in or out of the console. Timecode, here you can see timecode coming into the console. Please note, not all tabs that are shown work on all panels, and not all features that are shown in a tab work at this time. USB Expert status messages. This frame shows panels connecting and disconnecting, as well as entering and exit boot mode. This could be helpful in troubleshooting. So let's see that in action. Here I have USB Expert running on a laptop. We see down here at the bottom that the ACW USB service is not running. So we're going to go ahead and click on Tools, ACW Service, and Start. We can now see that the ACW USB service is connected. And we can see our Titan Mobile uh, DMX panel as well as our Titan Mobile panel. If I was to connect a Titan 1 and a T2, we can see that they show down here in our status messages. And they're now listed in our connected panels. If I disconnect them, we can see they show disconnected in our status messages and they're no longer appearing in our connected panels. If I click on the mobile DMX1 panel, I can see that my, I now have the tabs. I have the info tab, the service tab, the test spence tab, the DMX tab, the MIDI tab, and the timecode tab. If I click on the service tab, I can see here where I can enter and exit boot as well as update now the program and apply buttons. Test bench, this is used by the factory for uh, testing the console before shipment. DMX, here's where I can see my DMX ports and make sure that they're active, set their state either between TX, which is transmit, or RX, which is receive. I can test my channels by setting my start and my end address, and then using the fader here to run it up and down to send levels out in case I'm troubleshooting a DMX problem. On the MIDI tab, I can see any MIDI signals that are coming in. 
in the time code tab, if I was, had a console that was able of receiving time code, I would be able to see it coming in here. If I click on the Titan Mobile Panel 1, I can see that my tabs are still Info, Serviced, Test Bench. Now I have faders, LEDs, and wheels. Use Expert Updating a Panel. Uh, to update a panel's firmware, click on the Service tab and then Update Now. The software will now program any panels on the list below the Update button. Uh, they should automatically enter boot mode, program the panel, and then exit boot mode. If the panel does not automatically exit boot mode after programming has completed, select the panel and then click Exit Boot. If all panels now show the green icon and are not in boot mode, you may close the software. So let's see that in action. So see here, if I click on my Titan Mobile panel that needs an update, and then click on the Service tab, I can now see the Update Now button is there, and the Titan Mobile Panel 1 is the only one listed that needs a firmware update. So I can go ahead and click Update Now. You can see the software puts it into boot mode. And then begins programming it. And after programming, we see that it automatically exits the boot mode and is now ready to be used with Titan. Use the extra panel update to manually update the panel's firmware. Click the panel, then the service tab, and then enter boot. Click the panel again, and then the service tab, and then click program. A Windows File Explorer window will now open. Navigate to the C drive, Program Files x86, Ava Lights, USB Expert, Panel Software, and then select the correct file. You must contact Avalite support for the correct firmware for the panel you are working with. Loading the wrong file may damage the panel and require a replacement of it. As the panel is finished programming, click Exit Boot to return the panel to normal operation. So let's see that in action really quick. If I select my Titan Mobile panel and then click Enter Boot, we see it has entered boot mode now. We go ahead and click on it and then click Program. And then we would, then, we would navigate to the correct folder. We see then it starts programming. Once it's completed the programming, go ahead and click Exit Boot. And we see now that it shows the green icon uh, that it is still updated properly. USB Expert Testing. You can test the console's buttons and faders with USB Expert to find a bad key or fader. The center frame event items will show key presses or fader movement. A key will show key state 1 when pressed and 0 when released. A fader will show a value from 0 to 255, depending on where it is in its travel. 0 is the bottom, 255 is full or the top. A wheel will show a minus 1 or 1, depending on which way you turn it. If a fader or key seems to be spamming this window, uh, it needs to be cleaned or replaced. Cleaning fixes this in most cases. So let's see that. If we see here in the center item, I've got the item events. I can filter it out if I wish to, to just uh, LED actions, fader actions, wheel action keys. I can also have it show us how hide the vectors, the timestamps, the reason, or and we can limit to 500 items. I'm going to go ahead and press clear to make this easier for us to see. You'll see if I move my number one fader, See the value goes up and down as I move it from bottom, bottom to top. If I hit clear again and then start pressing keys on my console, we can see that as I press it and release it, it shows a zero and a one. So I know that, that key works correctly. If I were to turn one of my wheels, we can see as I move it one direction, it shows a value of 1, and if I move it the other way, we get a value of negative 1. You can also test the console's faders by clicking on the panel you wish to test, and then the fader tab on the right of the screen. This shows a list of faders for that panel, and you can see if they are glitching or running fine. You can also test the console's wheels by clicking on the panel, the program panel for most consoles you wish to test, and then the wheels tab on the right of the screen. You can then see the wheels operation displayed. So let's see that. So here, if I click on my Titan Mobile Panel 1, and then click on the Faders tab, and then bring my faders up and down, I can see their operation in there. Sometimes that's easier if you want to test multiple ones at a time, or even all of them at once. So 
Same thing with wheels. If we click on the wheels tab, I then turn my wheel. I can see it being turned, or I can turn it the other direction and see it counting that way. That has been USB Expert Console. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye. Wheel stop. Roger, wheel stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.